In this video, I'm going to show you how you can log into your digital library account or create a new digital library account if you do not have one. Launch your browser and go to the website sbdigitallibrary.org. I will begin by showing you how to reset passwords if you already have an account, and then I will show you how to create a brand new account if you are new to the digital library. Press the blue login button if you already have an account. If you are unable to access the library, click the forgot your password link and then a password reset screen will open. Enter in your email address here and press the green reset button. Depending on when your digital library account was made, it could be under the guildford.k12.ctus email address or the newer guildfordschools.org email address. You can try both of them. You will then receive an email from Smarter Balance Digital Library. Open the email and click on the link that says reset password. Enter in your email address and then click verify. Your password will now have been reset. You will receive a second email with your temporary password in it. Copy that password. Click on the link that says click here to launch the digital library. Click the blue login button and then enter in your email address and the temporary password. Press the login button and then you'll be asked to create a new password. Enter in the temporary password, then your new password and then confirm your new password. When you're finished, click the Submit button. You should now have access to the digital library. To create a new digital library account, go to the website sbdigitallibrary.org and then click the green Register for your free digital library account button. Enter your first name, last name, and your email address, and then click the green Register button to create your account. You will see a confirmation screen and then an email will be sent with additional login credentials. Open the email with the subject line new smarter balanced account and in there you will find a temporary password. Copy that password. Then click the link for the digital library and then you will be able to log into your account. Enter your email address, the temporary password and press the login button. You will be asked to make a new password, enter in the temporary password then your new password, and then confirm your new password. When you're done, click Submit, and then you will be into the digital library.